Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to sunny cloudy Weymouth. It's been raining and raining and raining and raining and I haven't been able to get down here. So it's lovely and warm in my greenhouse. This is working really well. No leaks. Brilliant. But I found a leak. You can see it there in my roof. So I'm going to try and get up there and I'm going to use this stuff which I've just been given and if you look on the roof oh hang on a minute let's get up here you can I don't know if you can see it but there's some nails that's coming out a bit and every time I try and bang them in it's just spongy so obviously that's where the um where the uh yeah because it's wet where's my hammer there it is so i'm gonna go up there try hammer it down and see if i can spread oh, see if i can take it along with me Whoop difficult trying to do this with one hand. Oh, I need to stand there. No, I can't. Anyway, I'm going to try it with a hammer. I can't really understand why it's um, leaking. It's a new roof and I did everything how it said I should. But if I put that on like that, quite thick, it should set and not leak anymore. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Sorry if I'm a bit wibbly wobbly, but it is a bit difficult up here. Right, I've done that, so hopefully that is going to stop it from leaking. I'm going to try and get round the other side and do it. And I think I should do that one as well while I'm up here. So, let's get on it. Okay, so, nobody warned me about, like, wearing gloves or anything, so I don't know how easy I'm going to be able to get this stuff off. But if I lift you up there, I hope you can see I've done every little um, join... Let's go up there. I hate getting up here. I don't like heights. But it's something that I had to do. It might be a bit up. Oh, might be a bit thick in places, but oh but there we go. I have done it up quite thick. I banged the nails in and then put that stuff over the top. So hopefully, hopefully. The rain ain't going to get in anymore. And that little gap that I've left, hang on. There, there's no nails there, so. Oh, I don't like being up here. Right, so now I'm going to go wash my hands before I show you anything else. Oh, <laughs> i got to get off this ladder first. There we go. Right. Okay, so it hasn't come off too good, but it's better than it was. At least it's not sticky anymore. I got some terps at home, or white spirit, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I shall use that. Right, I've got some more wood chip. Yes. For that bit there, look. Um, and I'm getting another trailer load in the next couple of days so that will be all level then because there's still like a bit of a dip there but that is at least now safe to walk on and I can I'll have enough to spread over that bit as well to make it all nice and thick and level so yes that's coming in the next couple of days um and I haven't really got anything else to show you. Oh. Except for a branch that suddenly appeared. 
on my plot. Must be dead. Put that on the uh, compost heap in a minute. Yeah, so that stuff's done really well. A, a chap on the um, on the allotments, he had it and said, "Hey, I try that." I was telling him that me roof's leaking. It's a new shed, and that I have done it exactly how it says, and it was leaking. So he said, "Yeah, have that." So that's brilliant. I was going to buy um, another one of these. Like I said, it was only ten pound. So and put that over over the top of there, but I haven't needed to now. That's fantastic. All my blankets were wet. The dog's blanket. Um, this little cushion that I made. Because I had that down here. Oh, that's dried off a bit now. Yes, I had that there. I had that cushion on there. And I had the dog's uh, blanket on there. And I was down here, not yesterday, the day before. And it was raining. So me and the dog sat in here. I was sat on there and I got that blanket out for him to sit on. And it was soaking wet through. So that's how I realised that it was wet. So now, hopefully, that will have cured it. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Right, I brought this plant from home. I call them Flaming Katie's. Um... But this one's a white flower one, so what it's called, I don't know. I've had it for a couple of years now, and it was like that big when I got it. But I noticed, if you look down there, I don't know how you can, how well you can see. Anyway, when it gets to about here, down on nearly every one, there's like little roots coming out. So I've chopped them off. And put them in here, hoping that they might grow. A few weeds in this soil, but that's okay. Yes, so they're the white flaming Katie things. So let's see how they get on. I do believe now that these are pineapple, because they really look like pineapple. But if anybody knows any different, then let me know. I got still got peppers growing here. That one's just turning red. They're only sort of little, but there's lots of them still. These are sweet peppers, I believe. Oh, there's no tag there. But yeah, they're only growing little. Is that because they're in a little pot? Should they be in a bigger pot? I don't know. And also this, um, oh, avocado tree. Um, is it going to grow avocados? Or should it grow avocados? I'm going to give that a water actually because it looks a bit thirsty. Okay, I haven't really got a lot more to do here. Um, not at the moment. My hand's still sticky, so I don't want to get it into any wood chip or soil or anything like that. I got a new trolley, by the way, look. Five pound bargain. So what has been your best growing item this year? Mine has been cucumber. I'm going to have a sit down here a minute. Mine's been cucumber. That cucumber that's in my um, in my greenhouse round at the big garden. That, at the moment, it's got 22 cucumbers on it. It's absolutely ginormous. So that's been my best one. And 
What's your worst one that like just hasn't taken? Mine are carrots. Although I did have round at the big garden, I did have like a big long bed of carrots, but I haven't been able to grow any down here except for them, which is just like half a dozen. I've picked two of them, but I'm just leaving them to see what happens, see if they get any bigger. And I did plant some carrot seeds in there and nothing has come up at all. Grass has. But yeah, that's all the carrots I've been able to grow around here. So I'm going to go now. I've got one little sunflower look growing. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, from sunny Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.